Mab. Hello. Hi. Hi. Hello. Hello, lovely. Hey, babe. You all right? A couple no. of days? I don't want to do it. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. You're going to be fine. Being a friend to somebody and being their care professional, it's intense for me. Anyway, it's an added extra pressure on top of everything else for me. And um, I wouldn't tell her that. <laughs> I love Vicky. Me and Vicky grew up together, spent all of our lives playing together, out in the garden, around the block on our roller boots and our bikes. Real old fashioned childhood. I was talking to your mum yesterday. Were you? I think it's working tomorrow. How funny. And I'm here and it's all meant to be. My other birth partner is my older sister, Laura. Um, we are one of five, but she's the one that's just above me. Our family's always been really close. My sisters um, and I, we've, um, we used to play all the time. We used to play with our neighbours next door. Come, Jill. You can use your gas if it's all with me examining you, all right? I've been pretty involved with this pregnancy. I organised her baby shower. I helped to decorate the nursery. I always say that she's not just my sister, she is my best friend. Sit me up, sit me up. To have her there to help, it just mean the world. Yeah. Yeah. Free, 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 free. Do you want to have a go? One of the main factors in asking Laura to be my birth partner is that she actually has fertility issues herself. Laura wants a baby more than anything in the world, and for her to be part of being there for me to have my baby be a really emotional thing for her. Yeah. All well, the girls are guessing the time and wait the baby's going to be born. <laughs> We've been trying for a number of years um, and obviously it hasn't happened yet. Okay. All of my sisters and my brother have um, got children of their own, but I am the odd one out. So it kind of makes me want it even more. I think one thing that I've learned in life is, is not to take things for granted. And, you know, when this opportunity came up, it just seemed like a no-brainer, really. I, I just had to be there because I just wanted to see and, and kind of feel those feelings that, you know, every mother feels when they give birth. Good girl. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. Time's ticking on a little bit and Fingers crossed, it might happen soon, you know. She's the best auntie in the world, and they absolutely love her to bits, so she's definitely number one auntie. It's all right, Mum, no worries. Right, then. Oh, we're about to start pushing, Mum. I've got to go, OK? I'll see you in a minute, all right? All right, love you, bye. It's going to be all right, all right? Mm -hmm. And when you can feel your next contraction, you're going to give us a really big, deep breath in and then a huge, almighty shove into your bottom as if you're sat on the loof. Thank you, Vicky. Hello. Amazing. Yeah, just amazing. The love that I had for the baby, like as soon as she kind of popped out of Louisa, it was just an instant sort of draw to her and like, you know, she was seconds old and I just loved her instantly. She's got the cutest little lips. If Laura does have the opportunity to give birth herself, then I would love to be her birth partner. Oh, your day will come, my love. I really hope so. I am sure. 